last one I just want to mention is what we call the hierarchy of needs. And this is actually, this is a really important one. And um, again, it's just basic. So the very first goal every animal sentient being would have is safety. So if I, if I grab you right now, and you know, I just you said, hey, we're gonna go this way, we're gonna go pick you out from the airport, and I just close the door and go, good luck. The first thing you're gonna try and do is make sure you're safe. Especially if you're like, oh, my soul, is that how you guys have danger? Because they're in self I don't care, right? Here I am. It's not that bad. So safety will be your first concern, especially if you had kids. Mm. Like you'd be like, ooh, all right, mate. Mama Bear is gonna protect the cubs. Mm. And if you're not the biggest, baddest predator, you know, you're gonna be concerned. And this is something that a lot of people forget. So even though you have dogs, they're predators. So they're a dog before they're a breed, and they're a pound before they're a dog. I don't care how small he is. I well, he called a mouse, didn't he? Mm. Yeah, he's a hunter. Yeah, it was like, was actually horrendous, wasn't it? Decent-sized mouse. Oh, well, were. I think it was a raptor and this was a mouse, but I got him away because I didn't want the mouse to bite him and then he'd get rainy and I was like, I don't even know if that exists here. Either way, what? it yeah, wasn't right. great. He yeah, caught right. it, which is... The mouse went out. Is he, he's a Jack Russell cross. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Have you ever heard of little man syndrome? Yeah. <laughs> when you said safety, maybe he doesn't feel safe because he's little. No, no. I think he's trying to protect us. Maybe. I love this conversation. <laughs> you know me, right? Okay. Little man syndrome is a human term. Okay, the actual genetic trait that was bred into dogs like Jack Russell's is called tenacity. They actually have to hunt and defend things that are bigger than them, like with, with, you know, like rats. Um, you take the Rhodesian Ridgeback, lions. It's like, have you ever seen a lion? Like in real, I don't want to talk about your little zoo one, but I mean, he looks good. Like they look really good because they're fed. You've never seen a real one in a while. I'm telling you, if, if, if they're anything closer than 500 meters, I feel very unsafe because those things are fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this little reach back and I'm like, good luck, <laughs> you know? And so we call that drive, which I will explain to you in a bit, uh, where the dog has this tenacity to do it. If I took you and I threw you into the Kruger National Park and there's you know, some lions and some elephants over there and some goats over there, are you going to run up at them and yell at them, being like, yo, don't mess with me, I'm a human? Or are you going to be like, I'm going to be real quiet, make myself small and hope they don't see me? Which yeah, one? Small. So do you think he's afraid when he ran at the rat? No. See, fear is different. Fear is like this. Mm. So if you talk about dog reactivity, for example, people tell me this, he wants to protect. Does he now? Why? Why does he want to protect you? What kind of resource are you? And if that is something that's 5, 10, 20 meters away, why is he afraid? What's he afraid about? So this is where he's coming. So safety is about, is it close enough to be a threat? I don't know. Comfort is the next thing. You know, everyone want to be comfortable. And then the third one is what we call acquisition. I can never spell that. I wrote it down. My spelling is terrible. I'm just going to you. Oh, is Afrikaans your. Oh, I'm a teacher and I'm going to put it in the I'm just going to make you. Yeah, I don't even know what that is in Afrikaans. I don't even know if we have a word like that. Yeah. So, so this is, is about drive, which I will explain to you because it'll make a lot more sense once we start going through the ranges. So, you'll. I'll tell you this, right? I've never seen an animal sleep in a thorn bush, but I have seen them run through a thorn bush to get a ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these can change. Okay, the only times this will change is if, let's say, it's a zebra, you know, and Uncle Bob got eaten by a crocodile yesterday at the watering hole, and he says, you gotta be careful for that watering hole because crocodiles catch me. But I'm thirsty. Mm. After two and a half days, the brain switches in, in the categories and goes, Well, I'm thirsty now becomes a safety concern because if I don't drink, I will dehydrate. And maybe I'll get caught by a crocodile. So if you understand this, it will make sense to you. When do I help a dog? So it's about advocating. When do I help by helping my dog to achieve? Or when do I tell them they're being a jerk? Mm. It's like a child. 
am I, is a child having a tantrum and you know hitting and kicking because they're threatened, or are they doing it because they're actually just being a jerk? Okay. That's why it's so hard. That's why we say people want these recipes, but what they don't realize is the ingredients are different. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So